Okay, let's do this guys. This is Rob Mills, former Diamond Egg guitarist, Diamond guitarist on YouTube. Five things that will kill your guitar gains. Number one, not getting a, an established practice routine because if you're not kind of practicing the same things day in, day out to get that muscle memory, especially with the technical things, uh, if you're just going flitting from one thing to another with no real organized regard, then uh, you're not going to get any better at uh, certain things. Um, you need that uh, consistency. Even if you're practicing the same thing daily for six months, like a chromatic scale or a, a, just a regular scale, and gradually speeding it up. Do you see what I mean? Making short sure little progress in small steps. Uh, so one of the, the organized practice routines that I tell my students is, like if you're going to practice for an hour, split it up into four 15-minute sections. Uh, first 15 minutes warm ups doing technical exercises. Second 15 minutes practicing scales and maybe a bit of ear training, humming along with your scales because ear training is very important. We're going to come to that in later in the video as well. Uh, and then the chords, it's pretty important to know your chords as a guitar player, learning your chords, learning new chord progressions, learning new chord uh, theory. And then the, the, when you've done that 45 minutes, the last section, you're just going to go, hey, I've done the work. Now I can kick back and just learn that new riff or learn that guitar solo or just put a backing track on and, and, and improvise over it and try and, uh, you know, get some new ideas going with improvising. Okay, so the next thing that I believe is going to hold you back is not having guitar heroes. When I was learning, Slash was my first guitar hero, and then it was people like Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, you know, all these kind of amazing guitarists that you look up to and you just want to try and emulate because you love the way they sound. And then hopefully you become a mishmash of those guys. You, you, you develop your own style. You don't want to sound too much like the guitarists that you uh, love, but uh, hopefully that goes into the melting pot. But if you haven't got guitar heroes, what have you got to, do you know what I mean? What, have you, what are you aiming for? Uh, you're not really... You kind of going well, you know. I play guitar, but you know, it's, there's no drive there. So if you get guitar heroes, you've got drive, you've got passion, you want to sound as good as those guys or better. You know, you've got goals. Yeah. So that's the other important thing, having goals as well. So the next one, number three, not taking rhythm seriously. It's often overlooked to have a good rhythm, solid foundation. You know, uh, practice into a metronome. So. You want to be able to learn those like uh, syncopations and tide rhythms and using rests and all that kind of stuff, all that good stuff, which means, you know, you're going to have a totally good understanding of rhythm so that whenever you come into a situation, you know what you're doing rather than going to like a band audition and you play a slightly difficult, difficult rhythm and you can't do it. They're going to be like, next. Uh, I always encourage my students to get a, a couple of drumsticks as well, a set of drumsticks, usually come in twos, and practice with a drum practice pattern, practice drum rudiments. That's really good for developing your rhythm skills as well and developing a strong strumming stroke picking hand because it's the same motion pretty much. Okay, uh, so the next one, hey, sorry about this, I've just had a Colombian coffee, so I'm rattling on, I'm rattling on. <laughs> so the next one, uh, what have we got here? I've written down. Yeah, not training your ear, which I told you was going to get onto. Uh, because once you've got a trained ear, you can just pick songs up and chord progressions or melodies and like just like boom straight away. So we train for interval recognition. That's called relative pitch, knowing what a major third is, a perfect fifth is, a major seventh, and we start recognizing those. Um, uh, we can do exercises and we can play little games where we maybe try to recognize intervals we there's probably quite a few apps now available as well if you look on the google play store or wherever you do to get an ear training app so ear training is very very important there are quite a few ear training exercises that i recommend to my students and by the way yeah if you want uh, some one-to-one -one pro level guitar lessons which is what i do i teach guitar online now i travel the world and teach guitar online <laughs> Um, then uh, of course uh, drop a comment like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube or whatever and so the final one what have we got here the final one the final nail in the coffin if you like for your guitar like, gains is thinking that you're good enough or thinking that you made it or thinking that you've completed guitar that's a bad attitude um, 
So you should always be thinking, ah, there's something, there's definitely something more I can learn. I've, I've not completed it. I am still not complete. I can always get better. You always hear the top professionals saying that, saying, hey, I still feel like I've got stuff to learn. Even though they're amazing, they still know that there's something more. There's something more. There's always something more when it comes to learning music and guitar. It's a vast field of, um, you know, knowledge and information and it's a beautiful thing. So, uh, yeah, definitely always be thinking there's more to learn, there's more to know and, and always drive yourself to to do that if you want to keep learning and developing and getting better and better and climbing that mountain to the uh, to the elite level guitarist. So uh, that's, that's the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Like and subscribe. I don't say that often enough. Like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you soon, yeah? And uh, I'll put a link in the, the comments or whatever for a free coaching call for 30 minutes. You can come on a call with me on Zoom. We can chat about whether you're a good fit for either of my uh, coaching programs, Speed Mechanics and Learn to Burn, the improvisation one. So uh, yeah, and have a great day and keep practicing.